I'm Andre Sagalar from My Point TV in Plano, Texas. The unlawful restraints of dogs bill, which went into effect on January 18th, made it a crime for anybody to restrain their dogs with a tether no less than five times the length of a regular leash. The question remains, however, how will it be enforced? Uh, well, the, the first time that, that the individual is um, uh, cited, it, it's basically like a speeding ticket. So, you know, they, they would have to go to court. They could be fined um, a certain amount. Uh, the second time it, it does bump up and um, uh, become a, a class B misdemeanor, if I remember correctly. And so there is the potential for jail time. Jamie Cantrell, director of the Plano Animal Services, says the impact of the law will be big in certain areas of Texas. It'll help mainly the small cities, the unincorporated um, parts of, uh, of the state, and that encompasses a huge uh, demographics of people and, and huge numbers. So it, it's really going to have a, a pretty big Im impact on the animals in our state. The Safe Outdoor Dogs Act bans heavy chains as restraints, saying they need proper leash material. The new law also adds that dogs must have proper shelter outside for inclement weather. We, we get our list of calls of everything for us to do that day, um, and then we just kind of prioritize, you know, what comes first. Is there an emergency response needed um, and stuff like that? Um, there's not usually too much of a leash too short. I know there's a lot of leashes too long. Um, but it is, if in, the, in a situation like this where we don't know where the dogs live, um, we patrol the area for them um, to see um, if we can catch them um, loose. It feels great to have the Safe Outdoor Dogs Act finally pass. Executive Director of the Texas Humane Legislation Network, Shelby Baboski, shares her relief after years of hard work getting this bill enacted. Now the law actually has teeth behind it and there is a Class C misdemeanor associated if people do not come into compliance. For supporters of the act, it is more about educating the public than to penalize owners who are already struggling. We want solid education on how to properly restrain a dog, um, that your dog needs a dog house, water, proper restraint. But then if a couple of warnings aren't working, they have the tool to use in their tool belt to give them a ticket and make them come into compliance. From My Point TV, I'm Andres Aguilar, and that's how I see it.